Hey guys, it's Shamsa and welcome back to my channel. Now, the recipe that I'm going to share with you all today is a firm favourite in my household for Ramadan, especially for iftar, and I'm sure you're going to love this too. It's my chicken and veg rolls. These are so easy to make and you can make these well ahead of time and pop them into the freezer and take them out as and when you need them during the month of Ramadan. So let me run through what you need and then we'll start cooking. So the ingredients you're going to need are 700 grams of chicken thigh mince which I'm using. Now you could use chicken breast mince as well if you wished but I find that that actually dries up a lot and it's a lot less flavoursome. With the thigh mince it's a lot more juicy and moist so that's why I'm using that. I've got here two cups of white shredded cabbage. I've got three carrots which I've peeled, washed and julienned into little slithers like that. I've got one red onion, medium, which I've diced and I have the following spices. I've got a teaspoon of salt and dried red chili flakes. I've got two teaspoons of black pepper ground. I've got one piece of frozen ginger and garlic here. Now this is the combined ginger and garlic that I buy. If you don't have this, then half a teaspoon each of ginger, garlic, puree or paste is fine. I've got one cube here of frozen green chilies, which is just green chilies which I've blitzed with a little water and I've popped into an ice cube tray and frozen them. I've got two chicken stock cubes here. We also need spring roll pastry. We need two tablespoons of oil. We need some water to use as and when we need to throughout cooking. And we're going to be using some dark soy sauce, just a splash of this. So let's start cooking. So these are frozen um, spring roll pastries. So I'm just going to leave them aside and just let them sort of like come back down to room temperature and they're more workable whilst we actually prepare the filling. Guys, I totally forgot to mention that you also need two tablespoons of plain flour to make like a slurry for when we actually come to seal our spring rolls. Okay, first of all, get a pan that's big enough and get it nice and hot and into that we're going to add our oil. So around two tablespoons of oil into that. And just get it nice and hot and then we're going to throw in the onions and we're going to fry them for about two minutes. And I have my heat setting on a medium setting, which is six for me on my hob. Okay, so now that the onions are done, we're going to throw in our mince and we're going to cook this for about six to eight minutes. And we're just going to make sure that all of the meat kind of like breaks down. There's no clumps in there. And my heat setting is still on a six, which is a medium heat setting. Right, it's been eight minutes that I've been cooking this now and you can see that I've actually broken down all of the big clumps. And to this we're now going to add the ginger and garlic straight in, the frozen green chili cube. Just give that a stir. And in with the spices now, so salt, the chili flakes and the black pepper. And we are also going to crumble in our stock cubes at this point. Just break them up and just stick them in. It just helps them sort of like break down better. So in with the second one and give that a stir and we're going to cook this now for about four to five minutes just so everything is really nicely combined and um, the ginger and garlic sort of like and the chilies uh, are cooked as well and uh, we get rid of the rawness so i'll see you guys back in about five minutes Right, okay, I've been cooking this now for five minutes and that's ready. So now we are going to throw in our carrots and our cabbage. And we're just going to mix that up really nicely. And then we're going to cook this for about two to three minutes, just so the carrots are slightly soft, but still holding their shape. And the cabbage will obviously wilt as well due to the heat. Okay, three to four minutes later and this is looking 
perfect and I'm just gonna add a splash of dark soy sauce into that just like that and give it one final mix Okay, so that looks perfect. And you can see that the carrots are really nicely cooked, but they're still holding this shape. The cabbage has wilted down a little as well, but again, it's not fully cooked. It'll still have a crunch to it, a bite to it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna allow this to cool down, which will take approximately 30 minutes to an hour. And then what we'll do is we'll start to fill the uh, spring rolls. Right guys, the mixture has cooled now completely and we're actually going to make the slurry. So for the slurry, we're going to be using the plain flour and we're just going to add water into this and enough just to make sort of like a runny, sticky paste, which will help seal our spring rolls when we come to form them. And just make sure when you add the water in, just break up all those clumps of flour down. So you get a really nice smooth consistency. Add a little bit more water into it. You don't want it too thick. So that is perfect. So I'm just gonna set that aside. Now I've, I've taken out some of my uh, spring roll pastries here. They're really nice and um, flexible to work with. And I only take out a few at a time because they do tend to dry up. So I tend to take out about four or five that I can easily work with. And then I'll obviously go back and uh, take more out if I need to. So what you need to do to form the spring roll is first of all, on a flat surface, place it so it's a diamond facing you and then we're going to take around a tablespoon to a tablespoon and a half of the mixture that's cooled and place that just above the diamond corner here sort of like the top end here so take some more as well just make sure you take a good um, mix of uh, mince and the vegetables and then what you want to do is you want to take the corner that's facing you over and with your fingers tuck that in really nice and tight then give it one roll over like that then take the right side and place that over into the middle and then take the left side and do the same again bringing that into the middle again like that and that will give you like a, and that will give you an envelope shape here so you can see it's a little envelope and then just roll and then roll again and then take your um, slurry your paste, your flour paste, and we want to place it just all over this remaining um, pastry edge everywhere. So it's like that. And then gently just fold that over again. Just make sure it's nice and tight and then just do that. And I just normally tend to do that, give it a roll and that just gives it a really nice sealed edge and you have a perfect chicken sp spring roll there. And I'm going to continue making all of them the same way and once they're done I'll show you how they look. So once again just to show you I'm going to actually put that side. If, it, if your pastry rips during the process and you've got a little tear just make sure you put it at the start of when you start rolling because that'll just sort of like end up sort of like hidden in the the, uh, the spring roll. So again, facing towards you the diamond shape here and then take a really nice decent amount and just place that in there. And then take it across, roll back, roll over and then fold over, fold over. And if you see, if you just see this now, whilst I've got it here, you can see that the pastry that I've rolled over from this side kind of overlaps a little. Just tuck that corner in and just 
do the same thing roll over and roll over and then get your little slurry and apply that all over to seal the spring roll well it's a chicken roll actually not a spring but chicken spring roll yes and there you have it perfect shape every single time right i'm going to continue making all of mine and i will show you how they look once they're done Right guys, my chicken and veg rolls are all ready. Now I've um, made 28 rolls here with the mixture that we made and now we're going to fry these. Okay guys, time to fry the chicken rolls now. I've got my wok here and I've got it nice and hot and we are going to add our rolls in very gently and we're going to fry them until they're nice and golden brown in colour. Right, okay, I'm just going to turn the hob off and I'm going to take out these rolls very carefully. And just pop them onto a plate with kitchen paper on there. So let me plate these up, guys, and tell you guys exactly how they are. Okay, guys, my chicken and veg rolls are all fried and ready and served up in my beautiful little platter here. I've just served mine up with some mint and coriander chutney and I've got a date and tamarind chutney as well, which is really nice and goes well with these rolls, which I will show you how to make very soon. And I'm going to try these now and tell you guys exactly how it is. So I have one already here. Now, first of all, I'm going to just try it on its own just a little bit, just to tell you exactly what the spices are like. So here goes. Mmm, that is really nice. That is spicy, peppery. There's a crunch from the vegetables coming through. The outside pastry is perfect. Filo pastry, love it. And now to dip it in. And I'm going to actually dip it into the date and tamarind chutney and tell you guys how it is. So here goes. Yummy, yummy. Let's get that sweet and sour taste going. Oh my god, that's just new. Mmm. That is absolutely gorgeous. Mmm. All the spices are spot on. The stock cubes that we add are for flavour. Now, normally you can add other spices in as well, but I prefer to use stock cubes because they have all the essential sort of like flavours all in one little cube and that is just perfect. There's a nice heat coming through from the peppers that we added. Um, not the pepper, sorry, the pepper. And the chili flakes, which is perfect. And the green chilies as well, which I forgot. But yeah, it's absolutely wonderful. Such a nice starter there for you guys. Do try the recipe out, guys. I'm sure you're gonna love this. Hit that bell button. Oops, no. <laughs> not the bell button. Hit the subscribe button, first of all, before you hit the bell button. <laughs> oh my God. And you'll never ever miss a new video from me like this again and i will catch you with another one very soon till then take care and have your tea bye